is up guys kid critic is back here again with another review and this review is on the new shane black movie starring sterling k brown olivia munn and boyd holbrook called the predator now i was really looking forward to this movie because the ori original arnold predator movie is probably one of the most entertaining movies i've ever seen in my life so i was very looking forward to it and going into this movie i had had a clean cl clear mind especially with the, all the controversy around this movie and all the, the the divisive stuff going around it so basically this movie is about a kid named by, played by Jacob Tremblay who finds this alien tech thing from like a crashed well not from from a crashed ship from one of the predators and he accidentally turns it on and it basically causes chaos now I went into this movie with a clear mind and I came out I don't, I don't know if I liked it or not and I and I come to the point where I think the bad barely outweighs the good so I would think I think you'd probably save your money for this movie I mean it's not the worst movie ever like I don't think it's as bad as some people I've seen I've seen say how bad it is but I don't think it's that bad and one of the things I did that one of the things I did not like about this movie was the characters because in the original Predator movie, either though, I mean this movie they didn't have like they didn't really know anything about these characters except that they're not the best people ever, except for the dad played by Bo Boyd Holbrook and you knew a little bit about Sterling K. Brown's character and Olivia Munn's character. But other than that, you don't really know anything. I mean, yeah, you could say the same thing about the original Predator, but they were likable, and you could tell that they were scared about the situation that they were in. And in this one, you can't really tell as much. I mean, the Predators also looked pretty cool. Though I, I, I'll, I will give them that. I thought the main character, which is the Predator, was they they were cool. I don't think they were they it wasn't they weren't as menacing as I thought than the first one because the first one they were like unstoppable. I mean, this one, yeah, they are, because, like, they're basically bulletproof, but they're not as menacing as they were in the first one, and another thing that I thought bothered me a lot were the jokes. Now, uh, this movie had, like, jokes, like, every five seconds, and I thought 40% of the jokes landed, and I thought the other jokes were just, like, way off, and, I mean, the jokes that were funny, they were pretty funny. And so the characters that that got annoying, especially because the ones that were telling most of the jokes were like Keegan Michael Key. I thought who I really like. I I think he he got pretty annoying because he got pretty wild, and some of the other people on the bus that I can't remember because they were kind of forgettable characters. And I mean the the writing was not that good either. And I kind of expected more from this movie especially from somebody by Shane Black who was a part of the original who played Hawkins in the first one and I, I expected a lot more from this movie and this movie kind of reminded me a lot of 2016 Suicide Squad which I thought was another hot mess which was a movie that I was not a big fan of so with that said I hate saying this but I really wanted to like this movie I think there's some fun to be had with this movie, but with some of the action scenes, even though they're not the best action scenes you've ever seen, but I mean, I'm, but the, you do have some fun with them. So I would give this movie 55%. I really hate saying that. I would wait till it's on demand or something. So with that said, guys, look out for the next review and peace.